Mari for lunch. Beef ravioli and meat sauce. Got the AquaQuest 10 by 10 tarp with me. in this green bag we're gonna go refill down there at the river Just like that. Full saw your squeeze bag. And now you take your filter, screw it down on top of this. Right hand's a little more easy. <laughs> screw it down tight. And now you can you can drink from this just like this. But another way, you can roll this out. You can see a little bit of water was dripping right. Mm -hmm. You can dump it right into your water bladder. And this will also connect on to many different water bottles and things like that. It's screw on caps. So, from here, I'm just going to take that, unscrew this. Good over here. Now we're on a little of an incline, incline plane here, so this is going to run downhill, which of course is going to fill to the bottom of my bladder. So this is how this works. You just squeeze this bag. Now this might take two or three bags to fill up the whole bladder, but it's better than not having any water at all. I can definitely tell you that. Good clean water too. It's not an airplane, it's always a train coming by. <laughs> I'm right here at the end of the bag now. I'm trying to squeeze the rest of that out. Okay. Looks just about all of it. And you can see that filled up at least what one bottle of water would do in this bladder. It actually has markings on the uh, camelback. What's it, what's it up to? 16 ounces? Let me see right here in the light. Right at 16 ounces. Right at 16 ounces. So it was just one, one bag. So basically, like, that's about equal to your regular size water bottle that you'd get out of the store. Today we're going to be doing a comparison video between the United States Marine Corps three season sleeping bag with the extreme cold weather bag and the older uh, MMSS sleep system, uh, which was also used by the Marines and other military uh, forces. And as a ground cloth or as a ground sheet, I'm going to be using my AquaQuest 10 by 10 Defender in olive. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> 
Now we have both sleep systems in the MMSS carriers or these uh, compression sacks because we do not have the improved seal line compression sack for the three season uh, with the extreme cold weather bag. So we have them both stored in the same kind of stuff sack. Alrighty, so we have the three season seal line compression sack. So we looked on the manufacturer's website and we found out that maximum waterproofing on the stuff sack is achieved by radio frequency fabrication, basically welding it together. And there's no certain seams on this bag. Now this is just for the three season bivy. The extreme cold weather bag will not fit in this. You have in this little pocket here in the front, the all important visual user's guide. Now with, now people complain about getting cold in this bag. You would take, uh, might have put the rock <laughs> down there. <laughs> but you, you take this uh, visual user's guide and it shows you on the inside. It's got a lot of different things that it'll show you here. But let me get down to the page that shows you the clothing. There we go. Wind kind of catching it. But you can see it shows you what you need to wear at a certain degree, at a certain temperature degrees with another uh, piece of um, with another piece of equipment here. So just a sleeping mat for uh, 40 degrees, just three season and bivy sleeping mat, regular old boxers, and a t-shirt. Of course, you know, it goes down and other clothing that you'd need down the list here for different temperatures. But this is a really good way, if you don't have this and it doesn't come with your three season bag, get it because this will really help you out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna take out here is this three season bag. with the extreme cold weather bag. Both systems weigh in at about ten and a half pounds.
right, so we got both bags laid out. Let's jump right into the uh, comparison here. Alrighty, so we're going to start with the MMSS. First off, this is a Gore-Tex bivy cover. Now, well, actually, first off, I'd like to say these are both used military surplus bags. So most of the time we'll sleep with something like a tarp or something like that over top of it. Very low to the ground still. Just because we've repaired as many holes and taped up all the seams that we could see, but there's bound to be a pinhole somewhere in this that we've missed. So just to be sure, we always sleep with a tarp or something like that over top of this. But first off, you can see this bivy lays flat on your face when you sleep. You have a extreme cold weather black bag and a jungle patrol bag right here. This is your intermediate kind of bag, your, uh, your lightweight, 40 degree, 30 degree, somewhere around there. Three season bag in this. And this is when you start with the right clothing combination, you can start getting in, down into your zero degrees and below with something like this, this whole system obviously. Now, the, what most people do is they button this green one on the outside of the black but we found, me and my dad both, have found that it's warmer to sleep with the green inside of the black. Because if you think about it, you don't put your big coat inside of your, of like your sweater. You put your big coat on the outside of your sweater. So kind of the same idea here. And of course you put your raincoat on top of that. <laughs> it's got a extra insulated foot which is always nice because my feet are always getting cold during the good night's sleep. Very warm bag, plenty of room, and they all have drawstrings up on the uh, mummy bags here at the top of the hood. They all have drawstrings where you can tight cinch this down around your face. Same thing on the black bag. Now you put your feet in first, obviously. <laughs> inside the green bag, which is inside the black bag. Slide down to the bottom. You want to work the outside in so you can work. <laughs> so, baby <maybe> first. <laughs> So I'm inside this green bag here. I'm go ahead and zip it up the rest of the way. And the other side. This is the drawstring here. Pull it to the inside here. Tighten it down around the face. Eliminates almost all of the wind coming in right Okay. Now we're going to show the Gore-Tex baby closed. All right. Now you can leave it open like that to get a little air. Allow for a little breathing room, condensation to go out. Or you can completely enclose it. Okay, here's Gabriel enclosed completely in the Gore-Tex MMSS. 
on this one you can see that the outer the bivy lays on your face that's Gabriel's nose there so there we go it's a great bag Grab all three of them. Undo all three zippers at once. Just to recap, we have the Gore-Tex, the black, and then the green. And it's hot. Now, we're gonna move on to the three season, and then we'll give you a little comparison, which one we think is better, uh, or which one I think is better, which one Dad thinks better. And uh, we're gonna get this pack back up. So let's go ahead and move on to the three season. All right, so on the opposite side of the tarp, we have the three season bag with the improved bivy cover that is in Coyote Brown or IBC as it's often referred to. And like I said, it's Coyote Brown, which we absolutely love. Right off the bat, you can see up here, it has a mesh material um, over here by your face with a copper wire that runs through the center to keep this material off your face. And under this material, we have some more material, which is zip up, and that protects your face from the rain. So if it's a sunny day out or breezy, unzip the material on the inside, have this mesh showing so that it keeps the bugs off your face and you can feel that breeze coming through. But you know, you got uh, April showers coming through, you see storms on the horizon, starts raining you can zip that right back up inside the bivy and we'll show that in just a moment and you'll be completely waterproof so nowhere on this material is it marked Gore-Tex everybody calls it Gore-Tex but we're not quite sure what it is now this here is the information plate on this bivy cover and nowhere on here does it say uh, Gore-Tex down here at the bottom 100% nylon shell 100% PTFE core 100% nylon backing Man manufacturer proper international incorporated I think this PTFE is the Gore-Tex material or Gore-Tex like material it's a lot like Gore-Tex it's just not stamped Gore-Tex. Now your two zippers meet here in the middle of the head area right at the back for this baby. So you, the idea is that you pull them down each side of your face. And this one this one over here only goes partially down and this one uh, goes partially down as well. And then the bags on the inside go most of the way down your body. We'll show that here in just a second as well. So, one of the big tricks of camping or sleeping in any of these bags is a whoopee or a poncho liner, as they're often referred to as well. This is an old woodland one. They have new uh, Marpat Digi ones. Uh, jungle digi ones which have a zipper on them which is really neat but that's a really neat trick to get a lot of temperature increase inside your bag is use one of these things throw that right over here to the side so now as you can see we have the extreme cold weather bag here which is black and these are mummy these are mummy style bags as well with the hoods and they are center zipped. So it makes it very easy, especially for um, hammock camping, very easy to get out of these bags and really works great in this system. You can also snap it right up here at the top with this piece of elastic, buttons right here on the, side, on the uh, top. And at the foot does the exact same thing 
YKK zippers, very nice. So we got all of these bags, military surplus, $20 each. And the reason why they were so cheap is because they had been repaired. As you can see right here, a little bit of adhesive ripstop tape, it looks like, or material. They, they fixed some holes up right there. Now this three season bag comes in two sizes, a regular for six and under, six feet un and under that is, and a long bag, which is identified by this green liner for six one and over. And uh, we found dad actually got the regular bag, which has this coyote material all the way and has that same kind of lining as the outer same color same color and he he accidentally got that and that's way too tight and one thing about this bag and with the bivy and all it is a tighter package than the uh, mmss this all fits a little tighter so one thing to mention about the improved bivy cover working that copper piece back up uh, and that's a uh, one thing that I can mention right there the copper wire inside of this bivy cover can be replaced it can be taken out of these slots so hang on, I'll show this on camera I'm just trying to turn this inside out here so this is a zipper that completely closes off the material from the mesh outer mesh and this is what will keep the rain off your face and any other any other liquids you know somebody's playing a prank on you pours your canteen on you or something <laughs> decide to pee on you yeah <laughs> there it is and that's the mesh closes right off and you can roll this mesh back and toggle it or roll this material back and toggle it We'll show that here in just a minute. There's the toggle point right here. All you have to do to toggle it is just roll it up, pull this toggle across. That's separate. And push it to the loop. And there you go. You see through it now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crawl inside of this thing. Straighten this mesh and material back up. I'm gonna go ahead and crawl inside of it, so, of it and show you how it looks. Used to see MSS way down there by your feet. So now that I'm inside of this bag, what you want to do, you want to take your fist. And you want to kind of start shaping this wire to where it's off your face. Like right now, that's off my face. It's nice. Rain's coming in, I don't know. Untoggle this flap. Meanwhile, your bivy is filling up with water. And now you're out of the rain. Now you're completely protected from the elements.
Okay. Now show us how to get out. Just like that. There you go. Alright, as you can see on this three season improved, well, not, it's, this isn't the three season, but this is the improved booby cover. You can see right here on the bottom, it has these loops. This is where you can hang it up to dry, tie a little paracord through it, hang it up in a tree, and it'll dry right out. It'll be good to go. Here we have both of the black bags together. These are both the extreme cold weather bags. This is the one from the military modular sleep system. And this is the improved sleep system. One major difference. This zipper goes along your thighs. This zipper, center line of your chest. I prefer this one. Makes it easier for me to get in and out of my hammock. And overall, really, uh, no matter whether I'm camping in the hammock or in a tent, to me it just is easier. Both of these bags feel, uh, keep, both of these bags keep you warm. But this one does feel heavier, just a little bit thicker. And here are the two three season bags, the green patrol bag from the MSS and the three season improved. And if you'll note also on the three season or the uh, military modular patrol bag, you have the side zipper on the Coyote improved three season center line zipper. And again, the Coyote three season comes in two different sizes a regular size bag for six feet and under and a long bag for six feet and over I'm over six feet so I need the long bag and easiest way to tell just quick reference quick visual reference is the long bag has the green lining inside of it where the regular bag is a solid coyote in and out All right, so another neat feature about this bag it has this thing called a draft collar, and it just goes right up around your neck. You can flip that around on the right side there. You can really have it tight. If you got a big old bull man's neck like mine, set it on that first setting there, and it keeps the wind out, keeps the heat in. Of course, when you got that all the way zipped up and cinched down, it's really nice. Keep it real warm. Now this is the three season bag. It is designed fall, spring, summer. Mm -hmm. And as with any sleeping bag, I think one of the most common misconceptions about these bags is that you can get in there naked or nearly naked and, you know, be good to go at negative 40 degrees. 
That is not Common true. misconception with all these bags. This is not the way it works. Nope. You have to have the proper clothing system mm -hmm. inside that bag in order to survive and be somewhat comfortable in temperatures like that. Now we've had these out, the lowest we've had this particular set, the three season and the extreme cold weather, uh, has been 10 degrees right here in North Carolina. And that is extremely cold for North Carolina. Rarely do we get down mm -hmm. to Negative. those, those uh, right. temperature, low temperatures. Mm -hmm. uh, it's extreme, extremely rare when we get down to single digits. Normally we're in the house for those, but <laughs> uh, with the proper clothing, the, the clothing that we had on, we were good to go. So the three season bag, along with the extreme cold weather bag here, mm -hmm. good to go. All right, guys, we got a storm system moving in. Temperatures dropped down to about 45 degrees. So I've dropped down into my shorts and t-shirt. I've hopped inside of this bag without poncho liner or blankets or anything like that. Just socks, shorts, t-shirt, and I am extremely comfortable right now. All right, so some thoughts on this bag. I love the new system that the Marines have in with all these new sleeping bags. They really are nice especially this patrol bag extremely nice right now since 45 degree weather um, i really like how they especially the center zip bags that is extremely nice draft collar really helps so overall i really love these new bags i'm 6'1 and i fill up this bag pretty good i still got a little bit of space down there at the bottom but it's not a lot i really don't see anybody over 6'3", 6'4", fitting inside of this thing. Oh, there's feet here, right here at the end. Six one, six two, six three people. I don't really, uh, maybe 6'4". I would not say any more than 6'5". Six 6'5 five. Six five is tight, I don't think I don't know. I just don't see it. Now, there's always a way. I mean, I, I guess they... they had really In the Marine Corps, there is always a way. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have... I mean, you'd be filling all the way up there. That's for sure. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't know. That'd be, that'd be a uh, tight sleep right here. So, I just want to reiterate that in my opinion, I do think the newer system is superior to the older system. I wish that I had more roominess, kind of like the older system does, but the added improvements that come with this bag uh, and all the other bags in the system, I think that puts it over the edge. And in my opinion, the new bags are superior to the older ones. The MSS Bivy, I do not like how it hugs your face like it does like it lays right on top of your face but it definitely is a big plus because it has a whole lot more room uh, leg area shoulder area it's just a lot of space inside of this bag now in the three season i really love how they have this copper wire running up through the front and around the head and the back on the top of the head here keeps it off your face uh, i love this mesh I think this bag is a whole lot easier to get out of and get into than the MMSS. But I do not like how this bag is a little more tight, like around your leg area and your shoulders. Overall, this bag just hugs a whole lot closer to you. And it almost seems like you don't have enough space. I'm, I'm 6'1", but my head and my feet are right at the top of both these bag, uh, the top of this bag here. I still have a little bit of room in this MSS to completely fill this one up. But this one, it just seems like everything's a whole lot tighter to you than in the MSS. Now, like I said, I love the improvement with this mesh. This is just amazing. My favorite bag is this three season and the extreme cold weather bag with the IBC. So this MSS is probably going to stay in storage for quite a while. Might take it out every once in a while, but this is my new bag right here. This is the one that I like. 
I really love the design of the sleeping bags on the inside. The center zip and set up on the side makes it a whole lot easier to get into, a whole lot easier to get out of because as you saw, all you have to do is just unzip the bivy and then basically lean straight up and the bags come right apart. Super simple, super easy. I love all the attachment points inside of this bag. Uh, you can hang it all up and dry it out. It's just really nice. Now, another thing to mention, you can fit a sleeping mat inside of this bivy with you. I found it very difficult to fit a sleeping bag, or a sleeping mat, under the sleeping bags inside of this bivy. So you'd have to have one on the bottom. So overall, I think the improved sleeping bag system is better than the older MMSS. Now this is a very close one. If I could get the space of the MMSS and the design of the new improved um, sleeping bags here, I think it, we would have the perfect sleeping system. If, like I said, a little bit more space in this uh, improved sleeping system and I would really love it. But this is my new sleep system. This is my favorite one. So this is how you secure the sleeping bag inside of the IBC. You have this button snap on this nylon and you got elastic material sewn on the top of both of the bags. You just fold that right over on the inside and snap it. There's one on each side, your left arm, right arm, and one in the foot. And that's how it is. And this one at the head. Now all we are stuffing inside of the seal line is the three season and the IBC. And you do it just like any other stuff sack. You just stuff, grab from the foot, stuff straight in. Once you get it started, it gets a little easier. Even throwing it over your shoulder kind of helps sometimes. Then you can kind of just start pushing in just like that. One thing to notice, to note before he folds this up, when we purchased these bags, we got these bags for $5 a piece, and they were ripped right here in between these two seals. And what we did is we just took some uh, duct tape, ran it back through there, sealed it right up. And to get a waterproof seal, you need three complete folds. And these are folds, not rolls. Folds and not rolls. Bring each side of this up. Then you take your knee. Alrighty. That sits down. That looks about like you want it. About that big. And uh, if you loosen up just a little bit, you can fit that right there. But if you want it down as tight as you can possibly get it, that's about to stay out and go inside your pack somewhere. 
So we're going to go ahead and stuff this back in all the bags and put it inside of the packs. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. And please leave a comment, like this video, share it with your friends. Go visit us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll have those links in the description. Go to our website, robertsbushcraft.com. Guys, thank you for joining us today. God bless.